Hey now, and welcome to Stern Talk, everybody. I'm your host, B.O.S., bringing you another classic video. And when I say classic video, I really mean it tonight. This is one of the most requested videos I get asked to post to my channel. It's Eric's first appearance in the studio with Howard. This is a great episode. This is the one where Eric by the studio to meet Howard in person for the first time. Eric is accompanied by two girls from the Bunny Ranch named Cherry and Haley. Howard is so excited to meet Eric for the first time, he makes this a very special appearance for Eric by bringing in some of his favorite celebrities from the entertainment industry. First, Howard brings in Natalie Maines from the Dixie Chicks. Howard also surprises Eric by bringing in one of his favorite wrestlers from the WWE, Kurt Angle. And last but not least, Howard brings in one of Eric's favorite girls from American Idol, Diana DiGarmo, who Eric is obsessed with and has a huge crush on. This is an awesome video, and I dig it a lot, so let's check it out together. I understand Eric the Midget's in the house. I saw his, yeah. I didn't go in and say anything. I want to meet him first time in here, but uh -huh. he got himself all dutied up for us. He's got a new dye job on him. Yeah, Gary said he, I guess, you know, because you know when you have little kids, you dress them up, like right. try and cold, dress them up in cold clothes. He said Eric kind of has like little converse and little, like it's kind of a cool little outfit he's got on. Like a Garanimals? Yeah. Because he's yeah. got to wear kids' clothes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to meeting him. I got a special surprise for him. Thank goodness they make cool kids' clothes now. People are coming in to view him. Just imagine if he had to wear a romper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see what he looks like in person. Are so you going to leave Eric on hold in the green room for hours? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're going to meet Eric. Ooh. The way we get Eric here is that the... Bunny Ranch Whore Place. Yeah. You know, prostitution place, whatever you call it. They get him down here. And then they give him women. You know, it's really, you know, I, I just don't understand these women. Wait, so the, they're here, the women. So the women were in the hotel with them. They gave him a threesome last night. Yeah, are they bored and let's just give Eric a threesome? And evidently he was like he's so wasted from his night of partying, like just tired. He didn't know if he could make it here today. Oh, he was going to blow said, us off. And they were like, well, dude, we brought you here and got you laid again. To get air time. Yeah, you don't show up. Eric never gets it. No, no, he thinks like he thinks he's now he's Hugh Hefner. Right, they he thinks they want to be with him. Me. I'm too tired from fucking. Forget the show. Can't forget the show. The show's what pays the bill. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even understand One how it works. One of these days, he's gonna figure this all out. He doesn't realize we're getting him laid. Every time he says he's not gonna do the show, his whole life falls apart, and he has to come <laughs> back and do the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The guy who wheeled them in, I'm like, where the fuck do I know that guy from? And then I realized, I just thought of who it was. Remember the dude who brought his wife in, uh, no, his daughter in and waxed her? No. Yeah, that's the guy. That is him. That He's is from the Bunny kidding. Ranch. You're kidding. He's he, working yeah. at the Bunny Ranch now? That's the guy we the... spoke to on the phone the other day. Yeah. He's from the Bunny Ranch. That's the guy. Yeah. He... I said, where the fuck do I know that guy from? And I said, yeah, that's the guy who waxed his daughter. Yeah, he oh. works at the Bunny Ranch now. He's Eric's, <laughs> he's Eric's go to guy. Yeah, that guy's not up to anything. <laughs> Bunny Ranch. <laughs> I'm like, how do I know that guy? And, and, and you know what was funny when I saw him? I said, I know him from something creepy. Right, right. <laughs> you, it's not a good thing, the reason you know him. This is exciting. Eric the Midget's here. We even have our viewing gallery in place. The gallery's in place. I see uh, Natalie Maines from the Dixie Chicks, the fine lead singer of um, the Dixie Chicks, of course. And songwriter, right? Songwriter extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she flew in all the way from LA to view Eric the Midget. <laughs> Eric's closer to her out where she lives in California. Yeah. <laughs> this is just... way more fun. I'm not having him over to my house. <laughs> when did you leave California to come in for the viewing? Uh, last uh, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. That's mm -hmm. Sunday afternoon. So you flew. You got here in the evening. Yes. Went to sleep, and then you came in. Uh, sort of went to sleep. I was so excited. And why are you excited to see Eric the Midget? Uh, explain. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Why am I? You know, I've always, um, I feel bad. I thought, I, I'm worried I might feel bad once I see you him. You will. Trust are you me. Sure? Oh, you I've won't. seen I've seen him on video and I feel bad. You feel pretty rotten about him as a phone caller, right? right? Well, I love him. Uh huh. Uh, but I, you know, my I emailed Gary, and you know, 
he ignored me. Just kidding. But uh, I want to know. I want. I wish Eric could be tickled. Like, don't you just want to know if he just laugh or like if he just giggles? You Maybe we'll let you tickle him. Like, and he just can't catch his breath. I just want to know if anything makes him laugh so hard. It like, might kill him. Can't though. catch your breath. I don't know. I don't know if I'll let you tickle him. Imagine you I'm kill. Not Imagine you kill Eric. Yeah, you're I'm Eric. Poor Eric. I'd be like. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I thought maybe so, some naked girls could... So you're hoping Aaron. he stops breathing? <laughs> <laughs> Just for a minute, and then he'll... <gasps> maybe he does that all the time. Sitting next way. to you in the viewing area, Natalie, is Kristen Massey, right, Kristen? Yes. And, uh, Kristen, you are a super fan of the show and a fan of Eric's. Yes. What I'm, do you what do you want to go out with Eric, or are <laughs> you sexually quite. attracted to Eric? No, I just love... Eric the Midget, I love all of his segments on the air. I think his segments are the funniest. I think his attitude is incredible. Okay. And then just the way everybody acts with Eric is just great. Adam is here, too. He's the news manager from Newsday.com. Hi, Adam. <laughs> and uh, Adam, uh, what is your interest in seeing Eric the Midget? Well, ever since I've been listening to the show since college... I've, it, I've followed along with the saga, and I've been following you guys for uh, the site. It's widely popular anytime something happens and makes the headlines for us. So I figured this is a momentous occasion. Right. Why not come in and see what I can, you know, spring up together for the site and get everybody excited? Sitting next to you is uh, Kevin. Kevin is a representative from Real Doll. He's here to measure oh. Eric to make sure we get the yes. accurate measurements. Uh, uh, how is it working for Real Doll? Excellent. Yeah, you're not a direct employee of Real Doll, but you, you've you been hired by them to take the measurements? Or That's correct, because that I'm in New York, yes. You're in New York. So you will take accurate accurate measurements, I hope, of Eric. I will take uh, accurate measurements, and anything that he lets me measure, I will. And will you measure and the circumference of his head so we can get that correct? Absolutely. All right, thank what you. exact, how many measurements are there? Uh, there's a, how many measurements will you take? Someone told me, like, almost 32 different measurements. Is yeah, that there's, there's a lot of measurements. We go everything from the size of his head to the uh, width of his fingers. Hmm. Wow, that's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we want it accurate. All right, yeah. anyway, without further ado, here he is for the first time on our show, Eric the Midget, and two women from the Bunny Ranch who had sex with Eric the Midget just minutes just last ago. last night. <laughs> and here it Wow, look wow, at the girls. He's taller. The girls look very nice. Where is Eric? Oh, my God, chair. there he is. There's Eric. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric. Wow. <laughs> I don't think he ever gets tickled, Natalie, looking at him right here. <laughs> Eric, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good, good to see you, Eric. Uh, you are here. There are people here to see you and meet you. There are some surprises coming up. I see you brought in two beautiful girls with you. Girls, are you from the Bunny Ranch, in fact? I am, in fact, from the Bunny Ranch. What is your name? I'm Cherry. Cherry, and what is your name? Haley. Haley. And you had sex, I understand, with Eric last <laughs> night. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Eric, how was this rendezvous? Was your second romp in the hay with uh, the girls? Well, I'm just going to say you know, hanging out with them was fun. And as far as you people are concerned, you're out of my personal business. Who? What people are you talking about? Well, who are you referring to? You're talking about? You know, everyone in here and the fans. What do you mean? What do you mean? Cut off. What do you mean we're cut off? <laughs> what does that mean? Bye, Eric. <laughs> well, Eric, I don't know. <laughs> Eric, what, what is this attitude today? What are you today? talking about? <laughs> Fixing your microphone there, Eric. What, what, what is this attitude? What is this attitude today? <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean we're cut out of your personal life? It's because of me you're getting these chicks. Catch on. <laughs> well, you remember January and February? No. No. <laughs> what, happened what happened in then? January and February? <laughs> that was when I was on Harold. Artie doesn't remember anything. Say hi to Artie, Eric. You're seeing him here. I mean, I know you met him before, but... Yeah, you're hey, all friends. Hi, Eric. Yeah, and... Uh, Take it easy. Get out of here now. Is it exciting for you to meet me in person? Yeah, it's cool. Definitely. You happy to be here? <laughs> yeah, what I'm about happy to be here. Oh, do I, do, oh, did he show you the there. button? When did you get, when did you get into uh, Manhattan? <laughs> Last night, around 9.30 or so. And the girls were waiting for you, or they flew out here with you? They flew out after... Their flight came in after mine. Okay. And girls, uh, I understand last night, it was such a wild night for Eric and you guys that he almost didn't make it in this morning, that he was actually <laughs> oh, considering oh. not coming in, and they said, listen, buddy, get with it. You're coming in. Is that how, right, Eric? How long were they up? Oh. We were up to... About two. So two you, were, in the morning. you were burnt out, I guess. 
Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Girls, what did you do to him? Tell me exactly what went on. Did you roll him? (laughs) He rolled us. Really? Now, there was no charge. I understand it was uh, comped, right? Usually you girls make a pretty penny, uh, you know, uh, doing your thing, but you comped him, didn't you? You were reimbursed by, I guess, the Bunny Ranch. Well, we can't be legal hookers out here, so. That's right. It was just for fun. So it was for fun. (laughs) Eric, that's quite something, isn't it? Just for fun. No fees attached. But, of course, you know, listen, you had to come in here in order to get this. It was worth it, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I have to come in here to get broads, too. It's the same exact thing. Uh, well, just what happened last night? Girls, what happened? Did you walk into Eric's room nude, or did you wear sexy lingerie? Tell me what uh, what Eric saw when you walked in. Well, first of all, we had dinner. so it was, it In the room? Mm, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What was the deal? Um, we went, oh, God. Well, we got naked. We brought him in the room, got naked, and got started. You walked in the room and immediately <laughs> well, removed no, your No, actually, we went to his hotel room, got yeah. him, wheeled him to our room, and treated him like a piece of meat. Really? <laughs> and what'd you do? You pick, Who picked him up and put him on the bed? I did. You did. <laughs> Was I it, did. Is it hard picking up Eric? No. You like that part. Eric starts to smile. <laughs> Sly devil. <laughs> Eric, what do you like about it? You like being held in a woman's arms and being By lifted onto the bed. Yes. Do you like that? Yeah, it's fun. Is that your favorite part? <laughs> Hope not. No. no. <laughs> Have you ever carried a guy to bed before in your prostitution work? Have you ever been uh, having to do that? That's no. no I've, I've asked for that. They can't do it with me. Yeah. I'm honestly, obliviously drunk. Right. You guys were really loaded. Were you wasted? No? You were no. straight. All right. I you was. picked up Eric. You put him on the bed. And who did what to whom? And how did it all go down? Give me every rotten detail. <laughs> uh, I want to know yes. what Eric's up to. The two of you decided to work on Eric. Now, Double who dresses Eric? We both did. I took his pants off. Yeah? First the shoes. Does he have a full rod? Pants. Is he fully boned up and ready to go as soon as you pull his pants down? He was. Yeah, he was good to go. <laughs> so, everything, good. so, Eric, everything works well down there, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. God bless you. Look at this kid. Oh, wow. Why don't you show him? Uh, <laughs> show him. <laughs> Do you have a boner right now? Is that what's going on? Wow. No. You're grabbing your crotch like Michael Jackson. No. no. <laughs> Just trying to keep my hands busy. So. <laughs> so, girls, you get in the room, you've had dinner, and uh, it's time to get down to business with Eric. You pick him up, you put him on the bed, and you undress him first, or do you take your own clothing off first? Well, I went to the bathroom, I came out, and she was naked. <laughs> you already nude. Yeah, I was naked. And I, I had to catch naked. up, so. Right. And you girls have quite the body with the boobs and the ass and the whole thing, right? I mean, you know how to work it. So when they were naked, you knew you were in for a good time, right, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. And girls, what then? What goes on next? Do you begin to perform oral sex on Eric? Kisses. You kiss. You made out with him? Yeah. Do you kiss Eric all over? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, all over. (laughs) Eric, you made out with these broads, He's a little ticklish. Is he? Did you grab your titties right away? He's your, he's your, he's your he likes tits. He does? What yes. does he do to those titties? He wants to lick them and touch them and kiss them and touch them some more. And does lick he them and suck them. You're no fruit. Does Titty. he say stuff? Is he, like, vocal? No. Quiet. He's very timid. Yeah. Very timid. Action-packed, though. Did, did, did you toss the girl's salad, Eric, at any point? <laughs> no. You don't put your tongue up their ass? No, I did not I do that. Did you go down on them at all? <laughs> No. 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 You didn't even need to. Why? Why bother? <laughs> They're ready to go. No need to excite them. <laughs> right. Did they toss your little salad or no? Oh. No. No. They did not toss your salad. All right. So how many times would you say? Did the girls lick your balls? Yeah. <laughs> how many times, Eric, did you, you fire off during the... How many loads did you drop? Yeah. Not sure. No, wow. you lost count. How many loads? Just one. Just one? Just one. We Just had to one. get up early, so. All right. Well, oh, poor guy. We probably could have dropped at least two loads. He loves it. <laughs> at round two tonight. Round two tonight? Is that right, Eric? Man. Oh, look at wow. him. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you have a problem now. You're Quite addicted the to the bunny ranch. You're totally consumed with the bunny ranch. I know you call there like ten times a day. You're totally addicted, aren't you? I don't call it there that much. I, you know text message and stuff like that. I see. Well, he's got a Jones now. Pictures. Yeah. He's an Rich, addict. Rich from the Bunny Ranch says he feels like his crack dealer. <laughs> right. So you licked. So you licked his balls and penis, and then uh, what? What happened? He put the rubber on, and he began to. Uh, have we inter- do that for you. 
You put the rubber on for yeah. the guy. You, you, do do you can never like trust that. him to yeah. put it on himself. <laughs> <laughs> you slid yeah, the right. rubber on him, and then what does he do? He lays on his back, and you two ride him, or is there another position <laughs> that he prefers? He was on his back. He was on his yeah. back. Did both of you take turns with Eric, or uh, did he, it happen so fast that there wasn't even time to ride him, uh, both of you to ride him? Oh, no, it doesn't happen very fast. No? He takes his time. No, surprisingly, it doesn't come as quick as you'd think. Right. So how do you both get in? I mean, there's not much of Eric. How much? How do both of you get in on the deal? Well, our head isn't as... Our, both our heads don't equal his body. So who, f- <laughs> who fucked Eric? Who fucked Eric is what I want to know. That was Cherry last night. Cherry last yeah. night. Yeah, me last night. Cherry, was he good in bed? I mean, did you have an orgasm? Um, He... I'm good on him. Yeah, she did not have an <laughs> orgasm, but he yeah, had no. one. No, she managed to make herself. I, yeah, oh, you did. You yeah. did have yeah, one. Yeah, I do. I did. I see. Last did you night. have to touch your clitoris to stimulate he yourself? He actually can touch my clit for he, me. You were playing with her clitoris, Eric. You knew how to do that. Yeah. Where did you learn that move? Where did, in porn? Yeah, I guess from watching that. I see. All right. So you knew exactly what to do, huh, Eric? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, good for you girls. It sounds like Eric had a great time. Eric is here in the studio. I do have surprises for you, Eric. But wait a minute. I got to understand. Uh, why, Eric, did you walk in here and say, we're out of your personal life? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we are your personal life. Why would you cut us out? Well, a certain relationship that ended in February because of this show. Oh. You mean the certain relationship that got started because of this show ended because of the show? Well, I guess... Technically, you could say that, but... Eric, look at me. You're having a sex life. You're having a whole life because of this show. Well, I guess, in a way, I guess I could thank everybody for ruining that because then I wouldn't be able to meet, you know, Cherry and Haley. Are you in love with Cherry and Haley? I would, Be honest. You know, they're cool people to hang out with. But you're not in love? No, I would not say that. Could you stick. fall in love? He likes to what? Get his dick wet. He sure does. <laughs> He's but a could player. you fall in love, Eric? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I could fall in love with them. I might be in love with them. I haven't even had sex with them. I could be in love with them. He's in love. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, let me go over to our crew here. Natalie, what are you thinking at this point? Seeing Eric, you flew all the way in from California to meet him. And then I'm going to bring out Eric's surprise. I do have a, a very, very interesting Couple, surprise for right? you. I do. I have two surprises for him. But... Um, Natalie, what are you thinking? Uh, after all, uh, you flew all the way in. Yes, very exciting. It's uh, lovely to hear all about last night. So I guess you won't <laughs> choose dinner with me over sex with the girls tonight? Would you invite him to dinner tonight? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Could be a fascinating conversation. <laughs> he, likes to, he likes to get his dick wet. She right. wants in on the action. <laughs> By the way, Eric, the gentleman sitting next to Natalie is the guy who's going to measure you for the real doll yeah. measurements. So no, that'll he's be... fucking not. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, he come comes on. anywhere near me, I'll break his wrist. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy. Uh, Eric, you could not break this guy's what are you, wrist. A ninja? Oh, He's not going to get near me. I assure Literally. you, Eric, I assure you it'll be painless. He's I just... don't care if it's painless or not. Get, stay the fuck away from me. Why are you saying that, Eric? I mean, I'm I sure. don't want this fucking doll made, period. You don't want a real doll of yourself? No. You don't yeah. think it's a great honor? No, it's not. We're going to make it and fuck it anyway. You might as well... Uh, you don't want it to be know, inaccurate, have, Yeah, dude. right. I know, and do you think these two girls should be the only ones who get the pleasure? Do we get a doll? Of having sex with Eric. The Eric, actor? I think you're making a mistake on this. I think you'd want it to be accurate. I Unfortunately, think... the doll's going to be more gay sex, Eric. I'd like to say, Eric, that uh, most people look at it as a great honor to yeah. have a doll made after them. And think about it. When you leave here today, once we have the prototype made... There will be millions of people enjoying uh, Eric the Midget doll. Other people could get Eric the Midget doll? Absolutely. You know Once we make the, the prototype, uh, it's uh, available to the to the populace. Are you going to measure his ass, like the size of his rectum? Uh, rectum. We can make a guesstimate on that, because generally people do have the uh, have the same size. And it cha- it's going to change, because right, rectum him, size is going to change. Could you just let him measure the circumference of your head and your height? Come on. Come on. Let no. me... No? no? It doesn't interest you? I mean, we're going to have to do it all. Can you eyeball him and kind of get an idea? Oh, sure. I mean, I'm right. looking at... I sized him up as soon as he came in. And um, what I'm going to do also is... Could we dip you in wax? Yeah. Nah, he's not going to do that. You know what I can't wait to do, sir? I can't wait like to that. fuck his face. <laughs> now, will you keep the mouth... Uh, <laughs> Flexible for us for that? Absolutely. That's part of the uh, that's part of the makeup of the oh, doll. Fantastic. It's a, a two-input doll on a male. 
Oh, what is it going to be made out of? Well, the asshole and the mouth. Absolutely. Right. Oh, only two? All right. Well, we can't do the ears, right? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking ears. That's possible. I mean, Eric, would you mind undressing dogs. so he can measure you completely nude? No. You will he not do it. You can't get the circumference of your fingers? Natalie, what about you? Would you mind getting nude so I can measure you? Uh, I'll, I'll measure Eric. Could I measure you? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The girls wanted to measure you. You should be honored. Now, listen, or what about, does Eric get a commission on the dolls of no. him that you sell? Well, Eric, I wouldn't do it either unless you... Should, Eric should selling. if they sell, yeah, if you they sell, sell them. Yeah. Real doll. What do you think? I believe he would absolutely, uh, he'd have to work that out with the company, but I don't see a problem there. This could be very lucrative. Eric, yeah. real Eric, Millions of Eric the Midget dolls. Natalie makes a great point there. This could be a very lucrative thing for Eric to get a real doll made. I really like Natalie. She is hot and she is funny. I like her a lot. She's a cool chick. Now he'll get nothing. Can you make removable eyes so we can skull fuck him? Sure. Okay. <laughs> right. so that's what I'd like to do because then you could have, and, and ears too, because we could have like five guys fucking them. <laughs> oh. Well, like I said, the dolls can be made custom so we can make detachable ears. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Eric, does any of this interest you now? It's so now much better hear, than a real chick. Now that you have lucrative it, it touch with me. No. Uh, still does not interest you. What if the girls didn't? Uh, promise you things tonight. They said, you know, you're cut off if you don't get measured. Mm. I don't think they do that. <laughs> You'd be surprised what I could get these girls to do. What do you think you are, George Hamilton? Yeah, right. You don't realize it. I'm controlling all the strings here. Eric, I told it's a food chain. We cut off the plugs. They cut you off. It's very simple. How about if we get, like, just a couple of measurements? Yeah, what? like your chest and... Arms and legs. And How much money did you weight? make uh, selling my picture this month, you little jerk off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't keep track. Yeah, you can't keep track of that. Let us fuck your doll, man. Got to admit, you've come very far. Now, are your parents giving you hell still for having sex with these girls? Yeah, and also publicizing it. <laughs> Eric. So what, are they right. th what are they threatening to do? Well, um, the house that I'm living in with my roommate... They're threatening to kick us out of there, and you know I go up back up to the lake house or you know whatever else I. Uh, he can live at the bunny ranch. Lake house. <laughs> How old they isolate me, him up there in that lake house? That's his plan. He would like to live in the bunny ranch. How many How houses you got? All right, I've got a surprise for you, Eric. Wow. I'm going to give you the time of your life right now. Do you have any kind of guess that you want to make about who's going to walk through the door next? Um. Eric, do you have any <laughs> guess that you want to make of who's going to walk through? I've arranged for a big surprise for you. Right. I heard the other day you said Kurt Angle's one of the people. Kurt Angle is one of the people who is going to walk through the door. Kurt's here to promote his uh, wrestling uh, organization. I guess it's called um, uh, TNA. Right. TNA Impact. <laughs> TNA. He brought someone with him, and uh, I wonder if you could guess who it is. Maybe you want to take a guess who I'm going to introduce you to. And I think this is going to make you feel so good that you're going to want to give me some measurements for the real doll. That's how good I think it's going to make you feel. You're going to say, Howard, you're a good guy. What you just did for me. I owe you measurements. I owe you measurements. <laughs> That's what I'm banking on. That's how big I think this is. <laughs> Kurt Angle might want to fuck you too, man. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> Who do you think is going to walk through that door? I don't have a clue. Do you want to make a guess? Who would no you like to see? No guesses whatsoever? Who would you like to see walk through that door right now? Uh. <laughs> Another whore. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have anybody walk through that door, who would you want to see? I don't know. Well, you've. You, I'm going to give you the name right now. How about a dermatologist? Steve Langford. Uh. <laughs> Did you get nemesis. to meet Steve? Not yet. You didn't? No. All right, I'll have him come in. That's not the name, though. Take a guess. Who would you want to have walked through that door? Come on. Well, maybe Kelly Clarkson? It's not ah. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Who do you think you are? What? I got Kelly Clarkson. You got Kelly Clarkson? Yeah. Oh, All right, Kelly bring Clarkson. in Kelly. Hold on. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson's going to walk oh, in. I didn't know that. That's I didn't great. know about this one. This is a surprise oh, to me. No, that Here she is. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. Kelly Clarkson. Here comes Kelly. Yeah. Here is Kelly Clarkson. Oh my goodness. Kelly. Kelly just won our crap. Uh, hi, Eric. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Eric, it's Kelly Clarkson. No, it's high pitch idiot. No, no, no. Can I see, see my stinky twat right here? Oh, God. <laughs> 
Kelly. I have a, uh, Eric, I have a song for you. Can I sing for you? Okay. Go ahead and sing She's for Eric. Sing. Go ahead. <laughs> wheel, wheel, wheel your chair to my stinky twat. <laughs> Let me taste your maker juice as I suck you from your cock. Ah. Wow. Eric, Kelly. what do you want to say to Kelly? Hi, Pitch. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Howard, 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 can I tell you? That's Who's a lot. Howard? Yes, go ahead. And Kelly let herself go, I think, since you might. Oh, we haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Clarkson has smells so bad. Oh, Kelly Clarkson smelled up the entire hallway. All right, take uh, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, I mean, really Kelly, bad. Thank Kelly, you, Kelly. Kelly, you really ought to take Who's care of yourself. This is Kelly Clarkson. All right, come on, Kelly. All right, Kelly, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. Congratulations. Kelly's pregnant. Congratulations right. on the trapathon win. Eric. So it's not Kelly Clarkson. So it's not Kelly Clarkson, but who do you think I have here? If it's not Kelly Clarkson, who would be here? Hmm. Put Kelly Clarkson back in the cage so I can think. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is about to walk through the door? Uh, someone else I mentioned the other day. Bra How about Ralph Sorella? Brand Brandy Tour. No. <laughs> no someone better Brandy than that. Brandy Tour. Who is that? You were getting warm with Kelly Clarkson. Okay, so it's an idol. Maybe. Catherine McPhee. Not Catherine McPhee. She's married. Who needs her? Ah, no, it's not Catherine McPhee. Uh, it's Clay Aiken. No. No. Yeah, Clay Aiken wouldn't interest you. It's Clay Aiken's baby. Who would really interest you? Who do you call 900 times a day looking for her? Who have you been trying to meet? Whose write mother for? did you call all the time? Uh, your face just lit up. <laughs> Whose mother did you call all the time trying to get a hold of her? Diana DeGarmo. If you saw Diana DeGarmo, what would you do? Would that be good? Would you let us make a real doll of you? Well, that would be good, but I don't <laughs> Can we make a real doll of you if I produce Diana DeGarmo? Come on, say yes. Uh, well, I kind of do have a connection in the meeting her away from this show, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> Right now, right now. guaranteed. If we can produce her, what if we can, what if we can meet her without FBI agents? And just stuff? give me a yes, and right through that door we'll walk Diana DeGarmo just to meet you. Give me a yes. 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 Oh, Come yeah. on in, Diana DeGarmo. <laughs> and if it's hyper, <laughs> we're in trouble. Here Whoa. is Diana DeGarmo, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, in the flesh, standing next to Eric. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Diana, first of all, thank you for joining us today. My this pleasure. is a real pleasure. Diana DeGarmo from American Idol. Is that really her? Yeah, That's it her. is really her. Yeah. Eric, how do you feel? What do you want to say to your your idol, Diana? Your De American Idol. Yes. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, hon. <laughs> Diana, I know that uh, it was very, very interesting for a while. Eric was calling your mom quite a bit, looking to get a hold of you. I uh, heard. What was that like in the DeGarmo uh, household, household when uh, your mom was getting those calls? Well, I was traveling, and she was saying, you know, that some guy named Eric really wants to meet you. And then he became friends with uh, other fans that knew my mom. And so it became this big circle. And we actually got to meet um, out in California a little while ago, which was kind of cool. But uh, he always talked about it. And every time I'm ever out anywhere, everyone's like, do you know Eric the Midget on Howard Stern talks about you all the time? Yeah. I'm like, yes. Thank you. I'm famous on Howard Stern. That's Lovely. That's awesome. Making, making <laughs> That's friends awesome. with other famous people is what a stalker will do. <laughs> I know. You know, I advised Eric not to come on so strong with you. That the way, you know, Eric was quite taken with you when you were on Idol, and he was Even very after, excited yeah. afterwards. Uh, he was quite taken with you, and I could see why. You're a very beautiful woman, and Thanks. Eric, I think, had certain fantasies about perhaps you two becoming friends. But I felt Eric had come on very, very strong in a way, a little too much. Uh, was I right? Calling the mother's house was interesting, but right. you know what? My phone number's not listed, and hers was and is no longer. Fix <laughs> 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 that. Yes, we had heard. I tried to explain to Eric behind the scenes that your mom was going to change her phone number. He thought he wasn't calling too much, but it turns out I was right, wasn't I? You know, it was, it's okay though. You know, yeah. I, my mother gets a lot of phone calls, and she's always kind of like the you know the middle person to me. So I I get all the the list. Oh, and so and so and so and so and so wants a picture, an autograph, a Elena, and a lunch date. I'm like, okay, lunch date. That's a new one. <laughs> Did you ever uh, hope and pray that let's say Brad? Pitt 
Pitt or uh, someone like this would call and ask for a lunch date. Maybe and, one day. Yeah, and when it was Eric, it uh, was a little unnerving, I suppose, because you really didn't know him at that point. <laughs> it, it's a little weird to you know, have somebody you've never met before Eric, call the house, but you know, now that we've met, you never know. Eric, you're standing there in, in shock. You're right next to her. Uh, do you want? I, I, Eric's a little shy, wow. so maybe I should speak for you, Eric. Wow. And I'm going to tell you. You know what Eric would say? If Eric w wasn't so uptight, I think he'd say to you, Diana, I've loved you from afar. I fell in love with you on American Idol. Look at his face. And if Eric, if I'm saying something wrong, I'm gonna, you stop me. And I think what Eric wants. Maybe you're going a little over. No, he's not. Am I, Eric? Are we, this is your one well, shot, Well, maybe pal. you want to take over, Eric. Do you want to talk? Ahead. Eric, now would be the time to get naked in front of Diana. <laughs> it's about as close as you can get. No, Eric, w am I, would, I would let you say it if you want to. Do you want to speak directly to, to her for, to, from your heart, or do you want me to do it? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, it definitely was cool getting to meet you the two different the times that we met in California and, you know, hopefully through Susan and other people, we can continue to see each other, meet with each other. Yeah, definitely at the shows and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric, tell her what you really what you hope will happen. She, see, Eric doesn't really want to just meet you at the shows. Uh, he's quite taken with you. Oh. He's looking for, you know, romantic <laughs> dinners and... And we know that romance can't happen right away, Diana. <laughs> and that's why he's saying he'd uh, like to see you more, but he right. knows that love would grow if you got to meet him and know him. Eric, is that true? I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a tough situation, but this is probably the only time she's ever going to pay attention to you. Yeah, we got to make the most of it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get something real on the table. You here. have a better chance of fucking Ruben Stuttered. <laughs> In other words, Diane, I think what Eric's saying, with time, is there ever a chance you could become Mrs. Eric the Midget? <laughs> well, as of right now, I'm pretty sure my boyfriend wouldn't like that. Ah, that's but... Good so luck. Where did you, Good where did you meet a boyfriend? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's top secret. Oh, top no secret. This imaginary boyfriend. He's just top secret. Up. Did you just make up? Did you just make up the fact that you have no, a boyfriend? No, no, he's actually <laughs> listening now to make sure. He I'm is. Good. Are you dating another little person or is he full size? Uh, he's big. He's big. Okay. <laughs> right, he's a big then person. Would you say to Eric, the timing is all wrong? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right now the timing is a little off, but you never know. I mean, you know. I'm a, I'm a traveling girl. I always have boyfriends. So. I know Eric enjoys <laughs> seeing you at the concerts, though. Is Eric uh, now able to come to your shows when you're near his area and maybe come yes, see you? Yes, definitely. Definitely. He's always been a good fan. Right. And uh, Eric, oh, you Eric did... Eric is brokenhearted. I can see the look of disappointment on his face. Ugh. Thank God he's got the bunny ranch whores <laughs> to God. satisfy him. <laughs> Welcome to the real world, Eric. The, the, the chicks who aren't whores always disappoint you. <laughs> But here's your salvation right here. These chicks are, they're drug addict problems. <laughs> Fred playing that soap opera music in the background is classic. And I also want to say Artie is on fire in this episode. By the way, is, uh, Diana, is Kelly Clarkson still single? I have no idea. Can but you put maybe. in a word with her? I, I will her? try. Yes, will. definitely. I will try. Eric, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. There's still hope. <laughs> There's still hope. There's still hope. <laughs> well, Diana, this is a thrill. Now, Diana's here because I guess you're involved also with this up upcoming episode of TNA Wrestling. What are you doing on there? It, it, that's another top secret thing. It's it's not allowed to be spoken of until Every, it airs. Everything <laughs> in your life is top secret. The boyfriend. I know. I know. Well, yeah. Yeah. He's top secret. But the TNA part is, is all about you got to keep the suspense of not people not knowing what you're doing. But you'll be <laughs> appearing on there. Yes. And Kurt yes. Angle is here, Eric, who is a Another big star who I know wow. you're in love with. Oh, yeah. And not in the same way you are Whoa, with Diana. There he is. There he is. This Kurt Angle. Look at the size of Kurt. Jesus right. Christ. Oh, shit. That big man. <laughs> He's also I... my bodyguard on the side. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Howard? Hey, man. How you doing, Kurt? Good, good to see you. Good. Here, take a seat on the couch next to the Bunny Ranch girl so Diana has somewhere to be, too. 
Yeah, there's uh, one of your biggest fans there, Eric, uh, sitting uh, in the chair. Yeah, take a seat. That's <laughs> Eric. Have you ever met Eric, Kurt? No, I have not. No, I, I have I've not. seen you wrestle with when you were with the WWE. Yeah. I've been to some of the events that you were at there. And you liked me because I was the best? Yeah. <laughs> Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. All right. Now, Diane is going to be on an episode with you, Kurt. Uh, Kurt, you are a wrestler. Aren't you trying to get into, like, uh, <laughs> boxing or something? What do you, what's <laughs> or, 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 or ultimate fighting? Yeah, I'm uh, talking to a couple of the MMA companies, yeah. Now, why, why are you not getting into uh, ultimate fighting? Are they trying to keep you out of that? I... I'm, my first obligation is TNA. It's a company. Right. You know, Howard, I, I actually, this is a long story, but I'll make it short. I was uh, very uh, motivated by what you did on your own. You right. know, you worked for whoever, and you, you kind of went off on your own. I thought you were referring to my masturbation. Uh, that too. But <laughs> yes. I, I decided to do the same thing, and I went off on my own, and I signed with TNA. Instead Good. of being with that monster, the WWE, and, you know, how big it was. Yeah, they don't need went you, off. right? <laughs> <laughs> were they not treating you right? Uh, overworked. Really? Overworked, yeah. So you said, hey, I'm taking off. I got a good money opportunity here. These people yeah. are treating me right. I'm going to yeah. go over to TNA. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a growing experience, and we're getting bigger and better, and, and uh, I can't be any happier. It's great. You look like a tough guy, man. You look like you could kick some major fucking looks like ass. you've been in a fight. There's a <laughs> cut on your nose or something. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm always in a fight. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> my, my matches aren't exactly the uh, easiest matches. They're very stiff. When you were growing up, did you ever kill a guy or anything? Uh, I might have a couple times, You've yeah. been in real fights, though, right? I mean, yeah, A real lot fights, of fights, yeah. yes. Did you ever play football? Yeah, I, I was an uh, All-American linebacker. You scared the hell out of me, I swear to God. All-American <laughs> linebacker for what school? <laughs> no, it was high school. I was All-American oh, high school. school. Yeah. Yeah, I, heard, I, heard, uh, I heard Kurt just got single. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about so you and Diana Howard, DeGarmo? I need some you... advice. I actually, I, I have a crush on Robin, oh, and uh, I want to ask her out. I heard he loves African-American um, women. That's what they say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you dig African-American yeah, women? Now you, you embarrass me. Yes, I do. Oh. Yes, well, I do. Robin's from Baltimore. <laughs> What does that mean? You're a Baltimore American woman. <laughs> Diana, I thought you were a virgin. I had no idea you had a boyfriend. When did you uh, get a boyfriend? A little while ago. As soon as How Eric asked her out. Now, How uh, old are you now, Diana? I'm 21. Because she was very young on Idol. Yeah, 16. Uh, yeah. Are you still a virgin, or have you lost your virginity? Mm. That's my business. No, come on. That's no. everybody. Eric no. needs to know no. that. No. Eric no, asked That's her. my business. Eric wants to know. You're telling me you're holding out, and you're 21 years old? I'm telling you. I'm not saying anything. So you had <laughs> sex, didn't you? You did. <laughs> You have it. <laughs> You've at least gone to third base. I don't know. You I never touched know. a guy's penis? I don't know. Oh, Tell the goodness. truth. Come Not on. Not saying either way. Robin, what do you think? Well, you know, she's built for speed. <laughs> she looks like a girl who's experienced life. Yeah. <laughs> really? What, what does that mean? Really? What season were you on again? Was that the Clay Aiken season? Uh, the third season, actually, with Jennifer Hudson. Fantasia. Jennifer Hudson. You were yeah, better Fantasia. than her. Oh, Fantasia. But what happened to her? She's nowhere, huh? What is she doing? Your guess is as good as mine. Don't you think when you go on American Idol, like everything is going to just like be rosy, and then you're going to sell millions of albums? You, you kind of go in with that kind of fantasy thoughts, and then you kind of get thrown into the industry, and you're not exactly as prepared as you thought you would be. But uh, I've been, you know, the good thing is that I've been able to keep busy since, and yeah. been fortunate. So. Did, you, did, did you hate Simon Cowell? You like the guy? Um, we have a definite love-hate relationship. <laughs> it takes balls going on that show, getting up there and singing. I oh, swear absolutely. to God, I would. Oh, absolutely. And Simon uh, can't sing a note. I don't think. No. Yeah, it's you know, and now that they're you know doing like the rewind where they're playing all the past seasons, so mm -hmm. they made me sit through and watch every single episode oh all my over again. Oh God! And it's literally like watching you know like when you're 16, you you don't want those home videos shown. Right. And it's like watching that time capsule of your life where you're like, oh God, what was I wearing? What am I doing? Oh, I fucking shoot it all over myself again. in the head. Well, I know is Eric, Eric wants you so bad I can see it written all over his face. Yeah. You can make it in blush. His face is so near your private area that oh, it's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> that's not blushing. That's just horrible acne. <laughs> Eric, am I right? You're fantasizing right now, aren't you? To be this close to her in her presence. You can smell her from where you are. Her feminine charms. So close. So close yet so far. Yeah. True? Tell me. I... Don't clam up on me now, pal. You flew all the way here. <laughs> She's standing right next to you. You're going to let her walk out the door, and you're never going to profess your love for her. You're blowing it big time. You're going to regret this the rest of your life. Now is your chance. Tell him, Kurt. You're going to blow it, man. This is your one and only <laughs> chance right now. <laughs> she might say yes. She might say no, but you will not regret if you ask her right now. Here you go, Kurt. That's some excellent That's advice. That's excellent advice. Yeah. 
Well, she's she not single, so. I was so That's well. bullshit. Hey, don't let that That's stand in your way. She's not her, married. Tell him. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Who cares if she has a boyfriend? It doesn't matter if she has a boyfriend or not, man. <laughs> you have to ask her. You have to have the balls to ask her. See what she says. Yes or no. It's your one chance. You have to say, will you, you know bend what? down and kiss her? I am making you my honorary member. I heard of your quote, you know what to do. I heard about your phone call that you made. <laughs> And I have a group called the Main Event Mafia in, right. in TNA. And Sting, you're... Sting, Booker T, Scott Steiner, you. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and I am make, now making you an honorary member, but you have to ask her out. Ooh. Ask her you out. Have yeah, to ask her go, for a kiss. You have to go for it, man. It's not sexy to know everybody in the Main Street Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as an honorary member, you got to go for the P. <laughs> well, that's being blunt, but being honest. That's true. And wow. Kurt knows. Kurt's gotten many a hot chick. Let's be honest. Yeah. I'm trying to get Robin, but <laughs> she won't even look at me. Oh. Eric, I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you have anything you want to say to Diana DeGarmo right now? Star right of American now. Idol, star of so many singing. Uh, on, she's Eric. a singing sensation. She's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing Singer, right next actress. to you. actress. She sold hundreds of records. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. You're, you're pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> Look at her and speak to her. Come on, man. He's tongue-tied. I know it. I know it. Don't worry about the boyfriend. Diana's boyfriend is on the phone right now. He wants uh -oh. to say something to Eric. Yes, Rufus, go ahead. Hello, Hello there, Howard. Yes, go ahead. Rufus. Yes. Let me tell you something. That little cracker touches my bitch. Oh, my <laughs> God. The fingers and shove right up his little fucking cracker ass. Well, there you go. Uh, Rufus obviously <laughs> upset with Erica coming on so strong. That was Rufus. <laughs> He's only on the phone, Eric. I think that was Cherry's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eric, if you were lucky enough to marry Diana DiGarmo, the girl you love, would you ever grow apart from her? No, you're going to be like a barnacle, aren't you? <laughs> hey, Howard, have yes. you seen my wife? Have you seen my wife? No. I, I've seen no. pictures. She's beautiful, right? She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. How about you want to hit my wife, my ex? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you want to? Fix him up? I could do it. I could set it up. <laughs> hey, Eric, if you marry Diana, will you insist that she takes your last name and make her Diana the Midget? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my last name. <laughs> A real man wants a broad to have his last name, man. Eric, is anything going through your mind right now? Standing about an inch away from Diana DeGarmo's vagina? Oh, I mean, seriously, Eric, if you don't you mind me saying. You had fantasy uh, conversations man, with her. Uh, yeah. You have the best seat in the house, man. You were calling her mom over and over again, stalking her, to the What'd point that the mom had to say? change her phone number. You must have had something to say. This is it. She's going to leave in two seconds. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, you want me to say it? Come on. Say it. You say it for him. No, I'll do it. All, All right, right, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, <laughs> Diana, will you measure me? No. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, the next time you're out in California, would you like to, you know, meet for dinner? <laughs> I'll have to think about it. <laughs> What's that's to think about, no. Diana? That's that boyfriend again? That's not a no, and that's yeah. not a yes, but it's not a no. Kurt, you want to see the dinner. And it depends, it depends upon, you know, I, I don't, right now I don't have anything scheduled on California, but if I do, I will hit you up on MySpace. How about that? Okay, it works. All right, sounds good. Kurt, oh, the MySpace blow off. <laughs> no, I'm not. She denied him. You feel she was blowing him off? Yeah, it's like it's like asking a girl for a number, and she gives you a, a fake number. <laughs> Eric, yeah, you got to at least go to dinner with him. Come on. Kurt, I'm kicking your butt when we get out the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to break yeah, your that's neck That's actually what I'm time. doing on TNA. I'm you, fighting Kurt. You know. I like Kurt Engel. You can tell he's a super cool guy, and he's funny, too. Well, I can tell you. Uh, you, you can fuck me. Oh, my God. We're going to dinner. No, I'll, I'll get, you have the best night of your life. No, okay? no thank you. Kurt, 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 Kurt Angle is one of the greatest guys on the planet, and I'll tell you why. He just agreed to fuck Eric the Midget. Yeah. And I don't know that Eric doesn't want that. Eric, your hero, Kurt, is willing to have sex with you. Would you be into that? No. No. Uh, he's willing to do Why it. Why not? I, I'm a good piece of ass. Because you're a guy.
That's oh. why. Oh, oh. all right. Ooh. Ooh. So, <laughs> so there's absolutely no hope. Uh. Eric, you know when you're going to forget all about Diana? When Cherry is giving you a Blumpkin later. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry, we want a Blumpkin for Eric later. Yeah. Is that going to happen? A Blumpkin? Yes. Tell me what that is. You, you blow, blow him while he's shit. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I've never experienced that, so. Well, I can oh, guarantee right. you Diana DeGarmo hasn't experienced that. For yeah, sure. I just learned something. He's wow. very pure. That's $200 over on 9th Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me just thank a lot of people here today. First of all, uh, I hope, first of all, Natalie Maines was satisfied flying all the way in for this to meet Eric. Are you satisfied, or do you feel some question was left unanswered? Oh, I, please, I've got days of questions. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so anything you want to ask Eric now is the chance. Um, well, I want to know how, how long were you guys together last night? Because it was a blowjob, but he didn't come, and then it was the sex, and that's when he came. I find it very interesting that he didn't know how many times he came. We were actually probably Odd. there about yes. two hours. Two hours. Two hours. But two. It, we are, there's a lot of kissing and touching. It wasn't just all the sex. Natalie smells a rat. Huh. I'd say probably, I'd say solid 45 minutes. Yeah. Natalie, are you thinking that Eric really didn't have sex with them? No. I just think it's interesting. Have, I mean, I'm, I'm not a man, but I definitely know how many orgasms I have during sex. I assume you guys do as well. Right. Don't you think it's yes, odd that he doesn't that's know true. how many is, orgasms he has? This is only his second time. You and think then they informed him. Yeah. So I thought maybe it's going to be ten, and he lost count, and then she said one. Is She's right. How do you lose count of one? Is it possible <laughs> Eric knows tantric sex and can last seven hours? Yeah. 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 No, she's right. The numbers are Eric always easy. No, like, you're right. Like with no. me, it's always I have one orgasm. And the girl has zero orgasm. <laughs> I don't know. Eric looks like he got laid. I don't know why. Hey, Eric? Yes. So, so the whole deal was Eric said yes, he would be measured. Yes. Yes. Well, that can yes. happen off the air, for God's sake. It doesn't have to happen now. I want to say mm. uh, thank you, big thank you to Diana DeGarmo and Kurt Angle for coming in and making Eric's dreams come true. You got to admit that's a big thing that you got to hang with them, right? Yes, definitely. If you want to have sex with Eric, uh, Diana, would you be willing, once we're going to make a doll of him, would you be willing to put a strap on on and fuck him? Oh, God. No. No? Not so. into that. Sorry. She really hates you, man. <laughs> Sorry. And, Diana, if you won't have dinner with Eric, would you at least have dinner with the real doll when we make it? Yeah. With Eric? Do something with the doll. Right. I'm a real I'll doll. I'll take it around like Stanley, you know, like the Stanley ticket pictures with it everywhere I go. <laughs> Natalie from the Dixie Chicks, of course. I want to thank uh, our reporter from Newsday. Do you have any questions? Uh, I think I'll speak to Eric more off the air. You know. What are you going to ask Eric? I want to get the, you know... The essence of his experience, I his suppose. His impressions of being on the show. Exactly, exactly. Finally coming here after the years of on hold. <laughs> good luck uh, uh, Good luck getting anything out of him. I barely got a word I'm, out of him. I'm not holding my breath. Right. Uh, Eric, uh, do you have any impressions of the show today? Is there anything you want to say about the show and your feelings? Not really. Just, you know, it was cool getting to meet Kurt and getting to see Diana again and getting to see Natalie <clears throat> what about Howard and, and Fred uh, and Robin? And, <laughs> and, and, and someone else? Of course, all of you, too. Of course. Oh, and Howard, this Howard I do want to say that if any of the press makes an ass out of him, they have to deal with the main event mafia. Yeah. They'll whoop their ass for you. So Put, it, put him in an ankle lock. You got it, man. Who's in that main event mafia again, Eric? It's Booker T. That's Sting. enough. Fine. That we, that's all right. Angle. <laughs> that we got it. We got, and Kevin, Kurt, let Kevin me say Ash. this, Kurt. I know what it's like to have a boss who won't let you go to rehab. It's <laughs> we need him here. We need him here. What am I supposed to do? Can't you kick that thing on your own? What's the matter? Oh, I did. I did it. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Talk to Kurt. He did it. He's fine. Well, Vince, I'm, a, I'm Vince, a pussy. Vince was right. Vince McMahon knows what he's Vince talking about. Vince knows what he's, he's, he's talking, talking about. I got to say, Kurt Angle looks fine to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Right. That's he's right. right. He's right. Uh, also, fuck him and fuck Vince Carter. To book Steve Oliva and his group of FDNY stand-up comics, go to thebravestnightofcomedy.com. Uh, Eric, uh, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. Sure. Okay. This is the gentleman from The Real Doll who will be measuring yes, you. Kevin IG. Um, if we make a doll of you, would you allow us to uh, add on six or seven more inputs to your body <laughs> so the... Uh, <laughs> Enjoy, you know, for the enjoyment of the public and for those who purchase your doll. In other words, not just your ass and your uh, mouth, but maybe your ears and eye sockets. What are you going to make uh, him a hermaphrodite? That's a yes. <laughs> yes. That's a yes, right, Kurt? Kurt what do you I, think? I guarantee uh, we would Trans certainly sell a lot more uh, dolls. Do it. Do it. And can I have a quick measurement of your head before I go? It's very important. 
This guy doesn't seem too creepy, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm representing a which head are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, no. His, uh, his cranium. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Hey, could you give him a pussy? That's what we're saying. We certainly can. Interchangeable parts. Yeah. You're saying oh, you give him a can. vagina. We certainly can, yes. We can make him uh, give him both uh, private parts. Eric, That's what great. Do you, what do you think of that, Eric? No. You don't like having a vagina? No. You do not want that. You want a penis. You could get blown and fucked at the same time. How are they going to have your penis when they won't let him measure your penis? Yeah, that's not true. Our job. Would you girls measure his penis tonight, and so that we have an accurate measurement? I know the measure. I know the. We did. We did. I mean, I don't remember the exact. It's (laughs) over five. Can you get an exact size for us? We need girth too. <laughs> Measure the circumference and everything. Girls, girls, <laughs> girls, knowing knowing you have About to do so, <laughs> girls knowing you have to do something like this later. At what time during the day do you start smoking crack? <laughs> <laughs> well, our boss, <laughs> I heard him. Let's see, uh, 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 Cherry, uh, you you uh, gave oral sex to Eric with your mouth. Can you show us how big he is? Just show me with the shape of your mouth. He said Macaulay Culkin. Let me see. Like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, anyway, this has been very exciting. I want to thank uh, Eric for coming in, Kurt Angle for coming in, Diana DeGarmo for coming in, the girls from the from the Bunny Ranch. They have their uh, their cat house show on um, on HBO. Uh, everybody in our, our gallery, Natalie, thank you. I, it was very very exciting. And uh, and what can I say, Eric? Uh, it was great to finally <laughs> Did meet Eric's you. Hey, Howard, are we going to fly? Good time? Are we going to fly, Eric, Eric? What about oh. that? You want to get in those balloons and fly in that wheelchair? Come on. Come on. What do you say? No. Nope. You don't want to take a flight? It, Eric. No. Come on, man. It's beautiful. Live it up. You're on the Howard Stern Show, man. Live it up. Go. <laughs> it's a great exit. You fly right out the door. <laughs> All right. Well, I can see there's no flight today. All right. Now. Diana, good luck with you and that <laughs> phantom boyfriend. Oh, thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. We're going to try and make up a boyfriend for you. And I think you should go to dinner with Eric. I think love could blossom. I really, truly do. Maybe I think she has Kurt a girlfriend. Engel- what? What'd you say? Maybe she has a girlfriend. You think she's gay? <laughs> no, Danny, no. Danny, have you ever made it with another girl? No. Yeah, has any girl ever come on to you? Uh, not that I know of. I'm very surprised. Not Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul ever come on to you? <laughs> no. Never. No, All she's right. definitely said some interesting things. About- what she said to you that was so interesting? <laughs> she likes to talk about her dogs a lot. Oh, I would not. All right. Well, oh. <laughs> Eric, thank you, and a pleasure to uh, be with you in the studio, finally. And we'll be back right after these words. Eric, the moment has arrived, and you're and you're done. Right. How was it, man? It was good. You know, it was a little torture here and there. Right. You mentioned before the interview that you were concerned about the way they were going to treat you, if, if you were going to be treated fairly and, and uh, right. kindly. Do you feel you were? To an extent, but high pitch ended up going up, even though I did, was hoping he wouldn't. Well, aside from from the fake Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, how was it to meet Diana and meet Kurt Angle and become a part of this mafia? It's cool. You know, I, I'm definitely a fan of TNA. You know, I watched both of the wrestling companies, and you know, I was. A fan of Kurtz when he was over with the WWE, and not a fan of Kurtz now that he's over with TNA. And you know, it, it definitely he's good on that show, and the company is a good wrestling company. So you were psyched, you know, you've been a, you're obviously saying you've been a fan for a long, long time, but to, to make it this far and to meet him and and to be taken under right. his wing, so to speak. Yeah, I. I even remember watching him in the Olympics win the gold medal for wrestling. And then to meet Diana and to and to actually have an opportunity to ask her to dinner. Where do you see this going? Hi, how are you? Uh, I don't know where that, that's going to go at all. But, no. but to have that opportunity has to be pretty cool. Were you were you uh, thankful to Howard for actually arranging that and right. making yeah. that a reality for you? Yes. Now, what about seeing Fred and seeing Robin and seeing uh, and, and seeing Howard up close? I mean, what was that like? Was it pretty surreal? You seemed almost in shock for the first part of the interview. Yeah, I was in a little shock to finally actually be in there for the first time and, you know, see, because part of the shock was when you're watching it on Howard's TV, everything seems to be at an opposite angle as it was when we, I was in there. So you're literally seeing from a completely different yeah. perspective. Yeah. I went, I went in there and I'm like, wait a minute, this looks turned around. Right. Now, you know, you're, you've been made famous for your you know, phone calls that are often contentious, and now you've met them face to face. Will this soften the tension that's, that's occurred in the past when you call in now? Is it going to be a little nicer? Are these calls going to be a little bit uh, 
little bit more kind from both ends, do you think? I don't know. It may or may not. It depends. You know, if they, it all depends upon what they say, you know, in the next couple of days. Right. You know, if they continue to act the way they have in the past when I've been on the phone, then, you know, you are going to hear, you know, the version of me that you hear when I call in. So you're always going to defend yourself regardless of meeting, you know, meeting them today. Right. Well, Eric, thank you for stopping by. This is one of the, uh, the biggest days in Stern Show history. Right, yeah. I'm glad I'm here. All right, buddy. Hopefully see you soon. Right. Okay. Thank you. And if I can do your uh, head real quick, do his hammer. What's up? Yeah. Is it all right if I measure your head real quick? It's up to him, man. Eric? Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, hope that wasn't too uncomfortable. And just a quick limb check. Okay, and a quick... Excellent, and then just across the chest, Eric. Okay, and then the ears. And then across the eyes. And the mouth. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Why are you wearing a button on my face? <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're... Oh, my God. That's hard. <laughs> is that like your slogan now? No. That's very flattering. Thank you. A button company... Is made, huh? A button company has made buttons for my store to sell. Not, huh. not these. But How much does that go for? Actually, these aren't for sale. Oh. Oh, oh good. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, buddy. Other buttons that Haley and Harry were wearing. You got a lot of interviews, though. I'll see you later. Nice seeing you, brother. Enjoy New York. Go to the top of the Empire State Building. Be careful, though, because that'll fit through the shit. <laughs> Get a blowjob on top of the Empire State Building. I've done that before. That's some good advice. <laughs> well, there it is. That's an awesome video. You could tell there is electricity in the air, Eric's first appearance in the studio, and that'll definitely go down as one of the best Stern Show segments in history. And like I said before, I thought uh, Kurt Engel was a really cool guy and super funny, and so was Natalie from the Dixie Chicks. Well, now they're called the Chicks. She was really cool, super funny, and really hot, too. I, I like Natalie a lot. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed that video as much as I did, and if you did, please come on back to my channel and hit the subscribe button. I've got some great videos lined up that I'll be posting real soon. So until then, take it easy.